Hello everyone, this is Bloodbed for a new pauper video. This time, since I've already got my 35 pauper points in the bank for the playoffs, let's do something a bit more crazy, some janky deck. So this, as you can see, is the one land spy. Most pauper players are familiar with the archetype, but uh, just in case you are not, I'm gonna do a small deck tag here. And uh, to be noted, One and Spy is one of the decks that received some splash damage from the recent bannings because it used to run four copies of Gitexian Probe. But since uh, the new set mm -hmm. has brought us the age of Astro everything, mm -hmm. let's do an Astro Spy. So the Astro Lab comes in place of the former Git Probes as another cantrip. You have to pay the mana for it, but it does provide much needed fixing for black, which was actually one of the issues with the deck previously. So I would argue that the deck has gotten slightly bit better than it was before the bannings. Don't get me wrong, it's still a very much tier 3 jank kind of thing, but uh, it's gotten a slightly bit better. So. To the mana base, we got uh, everything sorted by a row, as I prefer. Mm -hmm. The mana base is obviously one land, snow-covered forest, has to be snow-covered for the Astrolab. Mm -hmm. You also have four land grants to find the forest, essentially for free. Uh, mm -hmm. I also prefer to run one of Wirewood Guardian for forest cycling. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely essential in this version that we get the forest like we would love to have the forest or one of the ways to get it in each of our opening hands there's these 12 mana sources that uh, are also our fixers for black mana mm -hmm. so lotus petals wild canters mm -hmm. astrolabs there we have rituals for some more mana ramp dark ritual mm -hmm. four copies mm -hmm. cabal ritual potentially even more powerful in four copies. Mm -hmm. Also Tinder Wall plays for one green, sex for two red. Mm -hmm. We have some cyclers, so Street Raid is there just for the cycling, mm -hmm. Minotaur against cycling. Mm -hmm. uh, and finally we come to the combo. How does the deck actually accomplish a win? So you need to get five mana, two of which are black. So we've got that covered, right? Mm -hmm. Then you need to play, you need to have the forest in play. Mm -hmm. You play Bellstrat Spy for four mana, targeting yourself, essentially milling your whole deck. Once your library has turned into your graveyard, you cast mm -hmm. Songs of the Damned, getting one black mana for each creature in your deck there is 22 creatures in the deck in this version in other versions we will need even more creatures what you do after that there's actually three ways of building the combo so the most common one we've actually got in our sideboard which is haunting misery mm. but i'm actually maining the carvex torch win mm. so what we do is spy songs we have over 20 mana we flashback mm -hmm. two Mork Tefts, which we milled, mm -hmm. and we get back mm -hmm. Blood Serot Brand just uh, for the fixing. Mm -hmm. And then we have the Lean In Squire to rebuy us mm -hmm. a Conjurer's mm -hmm. Bauble. So, Bauble, once we have our library turned into our graveyard, the Bauble is essentially a tutor for anything. So, uh, we Bauble back mm -hmm. a Songs mm -hmm. to get enough mana. Mm -hmm. And then we can flashback on momentary blinks mm -hmm. that we've milled on the squire to re-trigger the effect, getting mm -hmm. two capis of extra baubles, which we use for another songs if we need. And the last mm -hmm. one we get the Carex Torch, mm -hmm. fix for red mana mm -hmm. with Celebrant and Torch for the win. It's usually around 30 damage or above 30 damage with, with the torch if we go through this combo it can be more if we have spare copies of songs or baubles or some other combo pieces so it can get up to like 60 or more apart from that uh, 
I forgot to mention that Conjure's Bauble can effectively supplement the songs. Again, once you've milled your library with the Spy, it's enough to have a Bauble and a Black Mana for you to get songs. And we also run a fourth commune with Nature to most often to search for the Bellstrad Spy, but sometimes we just need like a Cycler or Mana or something. In the sideboard, we have the alternate bin con of uh, mm -hmm. Haunting Misery. We basically side these five cards out and we bring in the mm -hmm. Anarchist, which uh, mm -hmm. once we've milled our library, gained mana with songs, mm -hmm. we Morg Teft back an Anarchist mm -hmm. and we Morg Teft back a Simeon Spirit Guide. So we got the Red Fixer for Anarchist. Mm -hmm. Anarchist rebuys Haunting Misery and Haunting Misery deals X damage equal to the number of creatures we exile from the graveyard. So with this version we actually need to bring in extra creatures. So that is why we have these extra spirit guides uh, in here mm -hmm. and also uh, Demir House Guard as another tutor for a Street Spy and also just to up the creature count. Mm. Apart from that, the sideboard is mm. three power blast so that we don't get completely hosed by a single copy of card spell. Also relic effects or other stuff that exile our library at uh, instant speed wreck us pretty hard, so that's why we have access to ingot chewers. Mm. Uh, Rolling Thunder is there in case we wanna keep Celebrant Leonin Squire package. But if the opponent plays a uh, standard bear, we don't get completely hosed. Mm -hmm. And also one flaring pain against Circles of Protection. Mm -hmm. So uh, to maybe point out the difference between the different versions, the Torch mm -hmm. version, which we have in the main, uh, the main advantage is that it can deal more damage than the number of creatures in its graveyard. It can deal, as I said, like over 30 usually, but sometimes if you have more combo pieces in your hand, you can deal like 60 and above. Whereas the Hunting Misery version can typically deal only like 23, 24, maybe depending on the number of creatures you have. And if you get only a bunch of your creatures exiled or something, you might be just unable to win with the misery. So that's why I prefer to stick with the Torch main deck. The disadvantage is that it requires slightly more cards in the deck and it is susceptible to instant speed removal to mm -hmm. when we are mm -hmm. uh, momentary blinking our squire. But a lot of people don't know about how this combo works exactly, so uh, that's why I'm not too worried about that going wrong. Also, one more disadvantage is that we have to pay a bunch of life to the Blood Celebrant, so this gives us less time to actually find all our combo pieces. But worry not, because this deck is very fast. In fact, it's uh, arguably the fastest deck on Pauper because it can have uh, turn one wins. Not too likely, but uh, the chance is definitely there. And the longer the game goes, obviously the higher the chance something goes wrong because well-placed counter spells kind of wreck us, graveyard hate wrecks us. Uh, if we are on the misery plan, life gain is also a huge issue, etc. I guess you will see uh, in the leaks soon. I should mention there is one more way to build the deck. It's uh, with uh, Cavern Harpy, Grey Merchant and a bunch of other creatures as the win condition. That version actually, the advantage is that it can go infinite. It can deal infinite damage. The disadvantage is that it requires uh, a huge volume of creatures in your main deck so it can work. Uh, it also has to pay a bunch of life during the combo and it requires the most number of combo pieces so I'd rather stay away from that plan and if the opponent is gaining life I prefer to lean on the torch but it's the third way of uh, building the deck. But anyway, 
enough talking and without further ado let's get to some matches here we go round number one with the one and spy updated list we actually want to be on the draw this deck the thing with this deck you rarely get seven card hands that have the full combo so you'd rather be on the draw because you only have one land to play obviously this end is good we're mostly looking for the forest that's the most important piece uh, lean square sadly doesn't do anything in your hand so that's kind of a blank but other than that it's reasonable we're basically Basically, we're just looking for the Bellstrad Spy to be able to mill ourselves. And uh, we got one, two, three, four, five mana, yeah. So we do have the mana, we do have the forest, we do have the songs. I guess we don't have all the mana now. We will need one more source. Actually, we won't. Wait, can we just win here? It's been a while since I've played with this deck, so I have to double check whether my maths are correct. But uh, we play Cantor, we have three creatures in the yard, so we sack for black, that's uh, three mana, four mana, five mana. Yeah, we do have it. All right, four mana for the spy. Mill ourselves, no lands in there. So everything flips into the graveyard. Now let's add a black for songs. We Morg Taft back uh, the, what's he called? Blood Celebrant to fix for the mana we need. Normally we would also mark theft or uh, square, but we already have that one, so no need to worry about that. Square gives us bobble. We play the bobble. Bobble gives us songs so that we have enough mana for everything. Let's get blue to flashback, momentary blink on Squire. Uh, so we do need songs again. I mean, bobble into. No, we don't need songs. We do have enough mana now. Yeah, so we even have one more spare blink effect in case they had like a bolt on our square we would be able to blink it in response let's return the torch get our red mana torch you all right easy as that uh, was that turn two I believe. Yeah, it was turn two. Okay, so against Affinity, uh, we actually want to switch for the Anarchist combo that wins through Haunting Misery. So these seven come in for sure. That's basically the combo package, plus uh, one more way to find a Balustrade mm -hmm. Spy plus mana sources we also need enough creatures now in the deck so that we are actually able to deal 20 and more damage uh, out comes the alt combo package which is squire celebrant torch blinks and also i like to shave like two communes 
Question is, do these affinity lists, do they run like relics uh, so that we need to side an Ingon tour? I'm not 100% on that. Also, they might or might not be running these spells, so Pyroblast is like, it is a consideration, but I actually prefer to skip it and just run it with the fastest uh, build possible. We've got the highest chance to just hit our combo ASAP because I think they are more likely to just kill us if we dirt around like trying to find counter magic or ingotur so we'll just not worry about it and uh, go with this yeah so the, the reason to switch for this other combo package is that uh, they might blast our combo creatures uh, in response to us going off uh, and also this makes it so we don't need to spend any extra life executing the combo. Right, this hand doesn't have a forest. So I think this build is so reliant on having the forest we need to ship it. This one is good though. This one is definitely good. We don't need the bobble. We are actually we are just looking for mana. Yeah, so let's ship the bobble. We have forest spy songs. We just need enough mana sources. Okay. All right. Hmm. Play the canter here. I mean, that's our black fixer also. Maybe we should not play it quite yet. We should cycle the Minotaur first. Yeah, so it's basically whether we are afraid that the canter dies or... Well, I think... I think we should wait. Swing for four, all right. It's an A-talk. Notably, it's also potentially blue source for this spell. Oh, there's the pedal, so we definitely do have enough mana. All right, let's... Play this one first. Cycle. Sure. Four cards in our yard. This would be five, six, so not quite enough for ritual. So, I mean, ideally, we would not spend the songs. Hmm. Okay, I think we've got this. I think we've got this even through this spell. Uh, I mean, I'm going for it anyway. I may be wrong, but I think we win through this spell with this hand. Okay, so we only need black mana, really. Yeah.
Okay, so theft on uh, anarchist. Mark theft for the red source. Play an archist, get back. Uh, haunting misery. Use the ability. Exile one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, two more, because why not, done. All right, there we go, that's a nice start. So yeah, we would have won uh, even through this spell there, but it wasn't necessary. All right, let's go for next round. Let's keep the hand. Looks pretty good to me, only missing songs. And we just drew a bubble. Excellent. So we're up against Black White Pestilence. Don't know yet whether the creature or creatureless version. The creature-less one is worse for us because they have more discard spells. Uh, wait, let's cycle now and uh, I believe if we play... Well, we don't win this turn, or do we? I have to count. So, one mana, play wall, that's two mana. Uh, fix for black, that's 3, 4, 5 mana, 6 mana, we actually have the win. Wow. Wait, let me double check. 2 mana, fix for black, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, we have it. ourselves okay play bobble crack for black crack for songs songs it up mark theft square mark theft blood celebrant Play this guy, fix for white, play squire, get a bauble, make sure not to misclick for astrolab. Bauble back songs. Songs. Blink. Bobble, we'll need one more song, actually. Songs, blue, blink, get back. Back 
torch. Red mana. Well, let's go. All right, and there you have a turn one win <laughs> for 32 damage. So against Black White Pestilence, whichever version it is, we will need to... Hmm. I think we will need to keep in the Torch version because uh, they have a lot of life gain and I don't want to lose just because they've gained like 4 or 5 life through their gain lands and whatnot. Uh, problem is they will have the instant speed interaction. Maybe they run like uh, these figures or things like that to mess with our combo so we will need to watch out for that but i don't think there's anything we can really do about that uh, let's actually look at some lists because i'm not exactly sure what their graveyard hate strategy is or things like that so the creature version these run relics they will have like castigase and Darasis probably they may have standard bearer it's another annoyance so for standard bearer we have kind of the simple plan of rolling thunder it costs us one more mana and one more life because we have to fix for the red but i think that's worth bringing in over the torch we could bring in flaring pain if we anticipate so core protection red they could be bringing that so yeah i think that's gonna be a good card to bring in and we probably even need the ingo chewers it's a lot of cards maybe we don't need all of them i'll hedge on two ingo chewers Let's cut some communes. Cut some Minotaur maybe. And we could cut the Guardian because honestly he's kind of the worst. Like I know we have to get the forest, but getting the forest through the Guardian is often too much trouble, so yeah, I'm gonna try cutting him and let's go with this. See whether the opponent correctly chooses to be on the draw. They choose to play first. That's good for me. I'm gonna mod again. All right, there's the forest. And uh, do we keep this? I kind of wanna keep it. Yeah, I know we still need the spy, but we have a good chance of fighting it with the commune. So I will keep pedal on top to make sure I have the fixing I need. And uh, note that Rolling Thunder in hand is actually not a blank, because uh, this allows us to spend one less flicker effect on... Uh, Squire, which means that we can like flicker Squire in response to them killing it or something like that. So essentially, we have one free flicker effect to car their, their creature, their instant speed creature disruption during the combo turn. Let us. Uh, maybe it's actually correct to Minotaur first. Yeah. Because after that we'll know better uh, what we are looking for. Mm. Castigate, of course, 
make things more difficult. I mean, if they take, if they know that they can take the rolling thunder and just kill us, or rather, rendered us unable to win. Yeah, so for that reason, I guess drawing the rolling thunder was not ideal. Yeah, that's castigate exactly is the problem here. Because it exiles, it's not just discard. Mm. They choose the pedal instead. Okay, good for me. Good for me, I guess. All right, so let's. Uh, hmm. No, sure, let's canter here. So yeah, my biggest concern is more discard spells, basically. All right, let's swing for one. See what we can find. There's the spy. All right, so can we win this turn? Let's sack two mana, fix for no, no way. So let's pass. Uh, that's annoying. If they take the songs. They should know they have to take the songs here. That's uh, rather intuitive. Okay. So these five they know of. Skyfisher. Okay, so they are on the creature diversion. Which is lesser of a threat in my opinion. Uh, just in the wall. Just in the wall. So we're waiting to draw another copy of songs or or Conjurer's Bobble to bring back songs. That's the only one we miss. We do have the mana now. We have the combo. We even have Incoture if they play a relic. So I think our chances to victory should be decently good. Sentinels, sure. Sure, you get some extra cards. Most of them don't matter anyway. It's, again, the discard spells we care about the most. Alright, let's redraw. Let's redraw again. There's the bauble. Uh, we do have Im enough mana, right? We have three. We have threshold. So that's uh, four, five, six. Yeah, three, four, five, six. That's exactly the mana we need. Bobbles, spied up. I guess if they have very macabre, uh, we lose. But uh, I don't think this deck runs very. Very macabre, by the way, is the biggest hoser against this deck. Like, there is almost 0% chance to beat it.
but yeah, they don't have it, and they see we have the win. Alright then, let's do like one more. Here we are for the last match, we're gonna play with this songs deck. Unfortunately, I'm only getting this. Mm. So yeah, question kind of is whether we can reasonably mulligan into the forest. Because this end is decent, it's got a redraw, it's got some mana, it's got commune. But uh, obviously without forests we are in trouble. I think I'm gonna go to 5. Uh, this 5 kind of sucks, let's go to 4. Alright, there we go. Nice art. Stylish. <laughs> Let us start with the Astrolab. So because we went to four and we have one brick in hand, it might take us a few turns to get all the pieces we need, but we do have the forest. We have uh, the spy now, okay. Okay, that's good to know. So cycle or commune. I think I'm gonna cycle first. That's a good one. So note that mono black has Oh, damn. Yeah, that's uh, kind of brutal. Note that Mono Black has potentially a lot of ways to interact. I guess not a lot. They have the witches. If they have one more witch, that could be problematic. And they also have the files that are instant speed. Maybe they could also be playing Tendrils of Corruption, which are instant speed. So these are the ones we do worry about. Could have probably not cycled there because they may be running Bojuka box, so we would prefer not to get creatures exiled, but with this Wincon we are running in our main, uh, the Torch Wincon, that one doesn't care about the number of creatures in the deck that much. It's not that big of a concern. Okay, again though, another witch is a concern, that's for sure. Hmm. Psycho. Oh, that's a blank. But thing is... If we draw a mana source, we can win next turn. Yeah. So basically the thing is I cannot play Wild Canter and wait a turn because they'll just shoot it with witches or it will die in another horrible way. So uh, we need a second mana to be able to cast the Cavalry Ritual, but we will have Yeah, we can also like play the land ground to make sure that we do have threshold for Cabal Ritual. So we need to draw like Lotus Spell, Dark Ritual, Tinder Wall. I think these three do it. There we go. I mean, again, we might have to win through something, but since we have the Celebrant in hand, we means we got a spare uh, recursion spell. So yeah, let's go for it. So 
black for black there we have threshold let's ritual spy it up songs these songs mark theft on Leland Squire Life with Astrolab, why not? Squire back a bobble. Bobble songs. here and I have a feeling we're gonna receive a removal spell here all right so hmm. if we blink him again in response that's a bad idea right so we just let him die yeah we just let him die here We rebuy him back with the spare Morktift. We play him. Get back Bobble, we'll need songs again. And I'm afraid we do die to another defile. Uh, but there's just no way around that, right? Right, cross our fingers. Oh no, man. All right, uh, good beats. Double defile gets us. Yeah, so I guess that's the downside of this win condition. Against mono black, I'm definitely gonna side into into the other one. Not sure if they're gonna expect it or not, so they might keep like defiles and stuff in and we're just not gonna care about it anymore. At least not during the combo turn. Uh, anything else they could have they could have relics or spell bombs or something. So I think I like to bring in Ingotur. 
and we can cut like Minotaur. Maybe the Guardian is just too bad. Another commune and uh, yeah, that looks good to me. I think it looks decent. Let's go. It is possible that. Uh, we should just swap our win conditions, like have the uh, Haunting Misery in the main and have the Torch in the side. That's for sure a possible way of running it. I'm honestly not sure which is correct. But it definitely would have worked out better for us in this particular case. I'm gonna ship this for hopefully forest. Nope. Uh, okay, this is looking grim. We might have to consider a fort car hand without a forest. I mean, this is decent. I'm gonna take it over three, I think. Okay, I guess we are pretty lucky. Uh, I. I'm gonna do this now, get the forest. I actually don't need to play it. In case they have brought like ice quakes or something to destroy our land. Uh, there's literally no reason to play it out, so. Yeah, so we are looking for one more mana and songs. Or bubble. And that's songs. And that's one more mana. Uh, any consideration to wait? I don't think so. Mill this, any order. Get our manas, bring back an archist. Bring back a spirit kite. Exile, play an archist, rebuys uh, misery. Let's go exiling. So we kept 27 creatures in the deck, so that should be well over 20. But uh, I mean, for the last game, there is a concern that they will gain life off of Gary or something. And that could be problematic for this one, but. I still think I'm gonna stick with this win condition. I should, however, like give it a small weight so that we don't give up which plan are we on. Like we might have sided back into plan A. The opponent shouldn't be allowed to know. So yeah, uh, if I ever want to run this deck again, I think I will probably swap the win cons. Again, Anarchist uh, Haunting Misery in the main torch in the sideboard. But other than that, I'm kind of happy with the list. I mean, it's still a very fringe uh, tier 3 deck. Nothing too exciting. We've Honestly, just gotten lucky a lot of these games.
but it's a card game. It's supposed to be partly about luck. Oh yeah. And they chose to be on the play, which I'm... I guess not so happy about now, because they're gonna take the land grant. Uh, they could take the misery if they have Bojukabok and try to like... Yeah. Try to cheese it. Because there's... No, there's no way for us to win next turn. Because even if we draw songs, we're one mana short of going off. So yeah, th that's honestly what I think they are debating on. Because if they have a Bok or Relic or whatever to kill our Haunting Misery, next turn, then it means we cannot win. Whereas taking the land grant slows us down, but uh, we still have a good shot at it. They do take the misery, yeah, as I thought. <laughs> There's the songs. Funny, I guess. So, wait, technically... So we have one, two, three, four or mana. We cannot win now. Technically, if we hit Dark Ritual with Minotaur, we win. We hit songs, that's not good enough. And nope, that doesn't cut it, sadly. No block, but there's a spot bomb. <sighs> yeah. So they don't even need to hold up mana. Spell bomb doesn't require mm -hmm. mana to pop like Relic does. So I'm thinking whether there's any way to like beat them down or something. That is probably a terrible idea. I mean, we have kind of this uh, like very very <laughs> unwise plan of just hard casting Barbud Guardian, but mm -hmm. I sided that one out. So all our other creatures are mm -hmm. rather small. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we could, we could like play the Bolstrad Spy here, mm -hmm. or play the House Guard, mm -hmm. but at that point Spy is better. So yeah, this is rather unfortunate. I will run it out just for the lols. Of course we need to mill them, because if we mill ourselves we just die. <laughs> Alright, pass. Yeah, the problem is we have no way of uh, getting the Haunting Misery uh, from our graveyard at instant speed. We literally need to, we literally only have the Anarchist to get it back and they can crack the spell bomb at any time, so... Discard two. Oh, we can discard artifact for value. Look at it. Oh, 
Oh yeah, let's play Tinderwall so we have Edict Protection. Nine turns to go. Such an intense game. Fine thinking, there's another spell bomb, sure. I guess I would have liked to have the pedal now. <laughs> it might have been correct to discard those songs to the branch mind. Even though at this state of the game, it's, I don't think the word correct is really in place. It doesn't really matter what we do. Okay, that's clock for us. Monarch, sure. I mean, we get flying, so we'll steal the monarch for ourselves. Mm, so sadly, we cannot play the chewer. This one would be kind of neat to play. That's Swamp Walk. So yeah, could we please get a pedal or just any black fixer does it, I guess. Uh, we can do this. If they have this figure, sure. Oh no, there goes Sourvin Khan. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, brutal. And it deals one damage to everything. Okay, sure, nothing we can do there. Lotus Petal, please. Oh no. I'm not cycling the street rate. That's my best threat against them. <laughs> Brutal. Oh no, that's a time walk for them. All right, I'm afraid. Let's give it one more turn, sure. One more. All right, we're dead here. <laughs> Close game, though. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. I will make sure to bring more crazy decks like this soon. And I'll definitely get back to my one and only love, Familiars, as well. So stay tuned for the content. See you around.